pound for pound, the Xbox Series S is one of the best console options on the market right now. In combination with Game Pass, it offers unparalleled value for money and will be the smart choice for many people. As well as offering a concise review, in this video I'm going to discuss how this entry level console performs on a big 4K TV and also look to the future of the Series S. So whilst this is the entry level next gen Xbox console, Microsoft has definitely delivered in terms of design. The Series S has a super clean and minimalist product design that will look great in any gaming setup. With the white exterior and contrasting circular black fan grille, it simply looks and feels like a quality product. It also has a tiny footprint and should easily fit in pretty much any TV or media unit. I really appreciate the small form factor. You can see just how small this thing is when you compare it to the awkwardly sized PS5. The Series S is a digital only console that ships with a 512GB SSD. This is nice and fast and offers quick load times for all your games and apps. However, due to the operating system requirements, you only actually get around 360GB of storage, which isn't a huge amount. This means you can only store a relatively small amount of games on there, particularly if you're playing AAA titles like Forza or Halo, as these weigh in around 100GB each. It's important to know this going in, if you want to store a larger number of games, then you may as well step up to the Series X, which has double the SSD capacity. You can increase storage capacity on the Series S, but really that's a false economy with current SSD prices. You'd be better off getting the Series X with a bigger SSD and also enjoying the extra performance that console offers. For me, the fairly limited storage on the Series S isn't a big issue. I just use it as a Game Pass machine, so I'm okay with only having a few games installed at a time. The Series S ships with a matching robot white controller. This isn't really much of an upgrade on the previous generation, but does have some new features like the share button. Ergonomically, it feels great in hand and is more than comfortable enough for long gaming sessions. I guess Microsoft chose evolution rather than revolution with the controller. I do wish it had the haptic feedback of the DualSense on PS5, but it's still a really solid controller that gets the job done just fine. As long as you keep your expectations in check, the Series S offers superb performance for its price point. This isn't a true 4K machine and doesn't claim to be. Most games hit a resolution of 1440p or lower and are then upscaled to output to your 4K TV. I use mine on a 65 inch 4K OLED and overall performance is pretty solid. Unfortunately I don't have a Series X to compare it to but I do have a PS5. To be honest, there is a noticeable difference in visual fidelity and frame rates between the two consoles. As there should be, the PS5 costs twice the price and has twice the power. But to be clear, the Series S does not look bad by any means. I think many people would only really notice the difference if the consoles were running side by side. Just be aware that the larger your 4K TV, the more apparent the lower resolution games will be. I might pick up a Series X in the future, but for now I'm more than happy with the Series S. It offers solid performance for the price and is also a great partner console for my PS5. Moving on to Game Pass, this is one of the main reasons why the Series S is such a compelling console. The value for money here is ridiculous and simply can't be matched by either Sony or Nintendo. The crazy thing is, with all the game studios that Microsoft now own, that value for money will only get better in the coming years. Here in the UK, Game Pass Ultimate currently costs £10.99 per month, but you can pick it up way cheaper than that if you shop around. I've just picked up three years worth, so I can now look forward to all the first and third party games that will come to the service in that time, all without any extra financial outlay. I know some people have questioned the longevity of the Series S, with some even saying that Microsoft may drop support for it early, as it lacks power compared to the Series X. Now this is just my opinion, but I really cannot see Microsoft dropping support for one of their core gaming products. I also don't see why they'd need to. If you look at recent AAA titles that have released on both consoles, games like Forza or Flight Simulator, Microsoft did a fantastic job of producing scaled down versions that performed just fine on the Series S. So I really don't think the Series S will have a longevity problem. It should be supported just as long as Series X. To conclude, I would highly recommend the Xbox Series S. It offers a nice taste of next-gen gaming at a great price point. 
and when you add Game Pass into the equation, offers simply unbeatable bang per buck. If you want the absolute best graphics, then get a Series X or PS5, but for many people, the Xbox Series S will be the smart choice. That's a wrap for this video. Like and subscribe for more. I've been Tom Hyphen. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.